Hello, my name is Rob DeSico and welcome to the Divine Eye Channel. In April of 2022, my family and I took a road trip from Vermont to Hilton Head, South Carolina. We opted to drive and split the 18-hour total drive time up into two parts. Day one was 10 hours from Vermont to Harrisonburg, Virginia. We made a pit stop by my alma mater, Lehigh University. It was great for the kids to see where I went to college. It was mind-blowing being back on campus after almost 20 years since my graduation. I love this quote. I'm not going to lie. It is a long drive. Perhaps the coolest part of the drive for me was watching spring unfold before our very eyes. We left a cold, snowy Vermont and arrived to see the flowering redbuds of Virginia. Majestic. On the second day, we drove from Harrisonburg, Virginia, to Hilton Head, South Carolina, which was about eight hours total, and arrived at our Airbnb. We stayed at a piece of paradise on Folly Field Road, hosted by Alicia. This place served as our base of operations. We loved it here, and totally recommend it. It was near the beach and centrally located in Hilton Head. After arriving at our Airbnb, we went to Shelter Cove Community Park to do a little shopping and get ourselves set up. This was a location we would visit a couple of times during our stay here in Hilton Head. We ended our trip here with some ice cream. For our first full day in Hilton Head, we had lunch at Poseidon's. We enjoyed Poseidon's, even though it's on the pricey side. It was well worth their value. After lunch, we walked five minutes from Peace of Paradise Condo to the Folly Field Beach. The proximity of the beach from our Airbnb made it easy to return here often during our stay. Kids were itching to go to the water, and we saw a kite surfer. We're on Folly Field Beach in South Carolina. Just enjoying a late night sunset in April. It's about 70 something degrees and the water is nice and relatively warm. There are my boys. We decided to walk to the beach at night and were treated to the moon shining over the ocean. We love the ocean. Today we hit the road and visited some nearby places. Our first stop was at the Church of the Cross in Bluffton, South Carolina. We like voyaging to places of worship, especially on vacation. The Church of the Cross is an Episcopalian church perched on the May River Bluff. It is beautifully designed architecturally. The Church of the Cross is shaped in the form of a crucifix, as seen from the air above. During recent renovations here, a massive beehive was uncovered behind the pine wood shingles. The bees were relocated and poured their holy honey. Delicious. From the Church of the Cross, we made a short drive over to Savannah, Georgia, a place that I've always wanted to visit. We walked the streets of Savannah to get a feel of the city. The weather was perfect. We made a pit stop at Zunzi's for lunch before working our way over to Forsyth Park. We are in Forsyth Park in Savannah, Georgia.
Unfortunately, we didn't stay in Savannah too long. We returned closer to our home base and went to Caligny Beach. Caligny Beach is a beautiful white sand beach with a shopping plaza nearby. But beware, we saw an alligator swimming in the water near the sculpture. There were signs everywhere warning tourists. The kids were thrilled to see the gator. We caught a bite to eat at Chow Daddy's, which had ping pong tables to play on while waiting for your delicious food. That is the moon rising, right? Oh, wow, look at that, it's amazing. Oh my God, wow. That is the moon rising. just came out of the water. It looked like it just gave birth. We started day five by going to Harbor Town, which is located in the Sea Pines community. There is an entrance fee to get into the Sea Pines community, but we thought it was worth it. Harbor Town has plenty of shops and things to do here. There's a lighthouse well worth climbing up to the top of. It's gonna crawl on AJ's yeah. hands. <laughs> likes you. Oh man. He likes you, AJ. Keep your hands still. It's gonna crawl up into your armpit. <laughs> it really does. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, so that just kind of happened now. What do we do? How do we get this thing off of you? Um, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, pick it up because it's gonna it's gonna get no, it's gonna hurt. Find okay. its own way. The green anole was not harmed in the making of this film. For the second part of our day, we went on a dolphin and nature cruise, which was sponsored by the local museum. For under a hundred bucks to have our whole family be out on the water, seeing dolphins, it was priceless.
driving the boat. Nice job, Captain AJ. After Harbor Town and dolphin watching, we ended our evening at Pirates Island Mini Golf. My youngest son, AJ, loved this place. We came back a couple of times. For our last full day in Hilton Head, we decided to wake up early and catch the sunrise at Fish Hall Beach. We were not disappointed. It was beautiful. Sunrise happened at low tide, and there were plenty of tidal pools to check out. We found critters big and small. At one point, a bald eagle landed on the beach 30 yards from my son. little critters scooting about. Rescued from the rocks behind me. It was pinned against the rocks and looks like it wasn't going to make it so we kind of intervened and pulled it out. And now it's finding its way back. That's a bald eagle. That was a bald eagle. Emilio, that's a bald eagle. Emilio, it's a bald eagle. Is that a bald eagle? Dude, take your camera. Capture that. It was indeed a bald eagle with a white head and tail feathers. My son was not as excited about it as I was. We kept our distance out of respect for this beautiful, enormous creature. We ended our evening having dinner at Poseidon's. This time, we spared no expense and made sure that we ordered everything that we wanted off the menu. It was delicious. After our meal, we ended up going to Folly Field Beach. For our final hurrah. Last full day. It was hard saying goodbye to Hilton Head, having had such a great time. Our trip was meant to be short and sweet. We would love to come back to the area again. For the ride home, we reversed what we did coming down. Our first day back was eight hours, from Hilton Head back to Harrisonburg, and then the second day would be from Harrisonburg back home to Vermont. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.